Hello YouTube! How do you remove calcium buildups from your swamp pump and make this preventive maintenance and make your pump last for a long long time? In these clips you're gonna see me doing this on the Zweller swamp pump. This is before and after and I will uh, teach you how to clean your pump with not a lot of uh, work. So as you can see, the pump has extremely heavy buildup from, from calcium. It's hard water uh, in this region here and that's why this calcium uh, builds up. We noticed because the pump wasn't working and uh, basically the switch uh, got stuck and you see a lot of rust in there as well. So first thing, include add this pump into a bucket of water. You wanna add on top of that the product is the CLR. I'm using two uh, little bottles here. You can find in most common uh, department, in most common stores like Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, any place you can find that. So I'm uh, pu putting those two buckets, uh, two little bottles into this larger bucket and I will let this sit here for a couple of hours. In this example here, I think it was about eight hours that took to completely clean the pump. And in this very next clip, you'll see that the pump comes very clean. No calcium buildups whatsoever, which is amazing because uh, this calcium, as I said, it can prevent the pump from working properly. So many of these pumps are being thrown away every single day just because of people doesn't know what's the, the reason it's a very easy fix and everybody could do as you see here it's a lot a little bit of uh, rusting there that's not a problem as you see as I open this cap to replace the switch there is no water inside so there's really not a, a big issue there So this is the switch that needs to be replaced. Very easy to find and very easy to replace, right? There is just two screws you gotta remove and it comes uh, loose from the, the body of the pump. As you see in the next clip, this is the lever that uh, actuates and turns it, the pump on and off. The seal there is good, you don't see water inside, so it's pretty good. You want to give a good sand to the surface because there is a little bit of rust and the gasket needs to sit very tight in there. Ideally when you are replacing the switch you want to also uh, replace the gaskets. So I'm going really quick here uh, and sanding both surface so it doesn't have any debris or anything. So you see this shine look, that's what you want to see. And now putting the switch back on, not hard at all. So if you want to replace the switch, that's how you do it. <laughs> so the switch is working pretty well. And now you have to put the connections back into place. So make sure you take a picture before you do that because you want to make sure you have the wiring going into the correct uh, pins. Once you do that, position the, the gasket and screw it back the four stainless steel screws. In this ne next clip, you can hear the pump working without water, just for demonstration, and then I will add a bit back to its location. The water level is going up, the pump is going to work by itself as it's supposed to. Thank you guys for watching, hope this video was helpful, uh, so fix your pump, don't throw it away. Thank you, bye.